Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And if this is your first time checking me out, make sure to hit that subscribe button to get the latest and greatest on tech videos. So today is all about deploying Office 365. Uh, I not too long ago migrated a client of mine to Office 365. And depending on what subscription you have, like I believe E2, E3, and E5, uh, I think E3 and E5 allows users to install Office 365 in five devices. Now, you don't really want to do that within your environment. You want to deploy it using MDT or SCCM, or you want to create a package to push it out to everyone. So this is the way that I created uh, an MDT package, somewhat, okay? I'm not going to show you the MDT stuff. Now, the first thing that you need to do is download the Office Deployment Toolkit. So this is the page right here. I will provide the information at the bottom. Click on download and it's going to download. Now I downloaded it within Chrome. So I'm going to click on the little arrow and show in folder. And there goes the file. I'm going to right click on the exe file and run it as an administrator. I'm going to get the user account control. So I clicked on yes. And then you're going to get this nice little dialog box. Now you need to accept the terms to continue. So give it a check, hit continue. From here, pick the location of where you want to drop the files. I picked the desktop and I created a folder called O365. Now O is office. Now you can call it whatever you want. It's up to you. Click OK and the files are extracted. Done. Click OK and you're done. So on my desktop, I have the O365. And when you double click on it, you're going to see three files. You're going to see the setup file and then two configuration files. Now within the folder, you're going to see three files, uh, your setup exe file and then two configuration files. Uh, within this video, I don't use the configuration files because I'm going to create my own. Now what I did was I just copied and pasted the exe file, the office deployment tool inside this folder just to keep everything together. The next thing that I did was I right clicked inside the folder and I created a new folder. Now the folder, I'm, I call it SAC. Now this is for the semi-annual channel updates for Office 365. I'm going to right click again inside the folder, go to new, and then create a text document. Now the text file, I'm going to give it the name of config board sac.xml. When you hit enter, it's going to say, do you want to change it? Because it's not going to be a text file, it's going to be an XML file. So hit yes. And then I'm going to right click on it and edit within notepad. Now within my notepad, I'm going to type in the following. Again, I will provide all this information for you guys, so don't worry about it. Now you need to get the source path of where that folder that we created, which was the SAC. And then your Office Client Edition is going to be 32-bit. The channel for me is going to be board. Uh, the product ID is going to be Office 365 Pro Plus Retail. And then I also added the Groove Retail because I wanted to have the OneDrive for Business application installed during the deployment. Uh, for updates, I enabled True. And the display level is going to be full. And I'm going to accept the license in terms to be true. Now from here, uh, I went back inside my folder. I right clicked inside my folder. And I went to New. And I created another text document. Now the name for the text document, I changed it into download.bat. Now this is going to be a batch script file. Uh, if when you hit enter, it's going to say, do you want to rename it? I hit yes. And then I right clicked on a file and I edit within notepad plus plus. Now within my batch file, I enter the following. The path of my setup file with the parameter of download and the download is going to be pointing into my XML file. Now, once I have all that, I save the file. I went back inside here. Like I want to show you guys, I don't have anything inside the SAC. When I go inside my old 365 folder and I right click on the download.batch file and I run it as an administrator, I'm going to get the user account control, hit yes. It's going to start loading up. When I go back inside the folder, you're going to see that a couple of things are going to show up. You're going to see an office folder. Now this process takes between 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, the way that you know it's completely done is when the command prompt disappears. And when it does disappear, you can double click on side office. You're going to see an additional folder called data. And within data, more stuff. And within the 16.0.9126.2282 folder, you're going to see all this information right here. Okay. Now, I went back inside my primary folder, which is old 365. Uh, this 
old 365 could be anything. For me, this is what I used. I right clicked, I went to new, and I created an additional text file. Now the text file, I gave it the name of install.bat. Again, this is going to be a batch script file. Uh, once you hit enter, hit yes. Good, now right click on that file and edit within notepad. And this is what you need to enter. It's basically the same thing that you did within the downloads bat file, but you're not going to use the forward slash download parameter. You're going to do forward slash config. Save the file. And then I'm showing you guys that I went inside the control panel and within control panel, I located programs and features. And within programs and features, I did not have Office 365 installed at all. So I go back inside my 0365 or old 365, whatever name you called it. And we're going to right click on that install.batch file. And we're going to run it as an administrator. We're going to hit yes for the user account control. And if everything works well, you're going to see this. This is a good thing. And then it's going to start installing the Office 365 stuff. When everything goes well, I did it within a Windows 10 environment. My notification center is going to say that the installation was completed. You're also going to get this nice little dialog box, which you are able to close. And when I go back inside programs and features, we have our Microsoft Office 365 Pro Plus, as well as Microsoft OneDrive. How cool is that? When you click on start, you see all the apps that were installed during the deployment. Now for me, I have OneDrive for business. Uh, and the reason why I have this because within my XML file, I had Groove Retail configured within that file. But you are able to configure the XML file to whatever you want. And that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. I'm going to try to post this PowerPoint for you guys uh, at my site so you guys can have a copy of it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them right below. Hopefully, I can help you out. Uh, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.